Hey, how's it going folks? E.T. here with another iMovie tutorial. Today's tutorial, somebody was asking, how do you do this? And that person's name is Shalita, I think, Shalita Williams. How do you do this? So that's very simple. What you're gonna do is kinda do a screenshot of a portion of your desktop and save it as an image. So let's go ahead and do that. You're gonna do Apple key, shift, and the number four. Then you'll get this little plus thing here. And what you're gonna do is kinda draw a box around holding your mouse button and when you finally got the actual size you would like you just let go and then the system will actually take a screenshot okay and it'll put it on your desktop so it'll be right here that's step one so now we have the actual comment as an image step two we're gonna go ahead and open up iMovie I'll grab a background just as a demonstration I'm gonna do the underwater drag it down here let me shrink this just a little bit because it's kind of big right now. There we go. And I'm going to extend this one pretty far. Okay, then we'll go back to the My Media. And now I need to import that screenshot. So you can either drag it in there or you can import it there with the button here or go to the File, Import Media. But let's do it the easy way. Let's just drag it in there. So we're going to left click and hold it and drag it to wherever you need it. And then let go. So what happens is iMovie will actually put it as a replacement or a swap. So it'll go from the background to the image and then back. But we don't want that. We would actually like to have picture in a picture. So what you're going to do is click on the image to highlight it. You'll see that yellow border around it. Go up to the first icon on the left here, which is the video overlay settings icon. Click on that. You're going to hit the drop down here and go to picture in a picture. And from this point, you can now resize the image to the size you'd like. And it'll actually allow you to customize it a little bit too. So let's put a border around it. Let's change the color of the border. Then you can actually put a shadow, drop shadow on it. And when you're ready, you can actually just accept the changes or you can hit reset. You can do a thinner one or a dotted one. But I kind of like that thick one there. Picture in a picture does allow you to do a transition. So the default is a 0.5 second dissolve, but let's go ahead and switch that to a zoom. And you can change the time depending on the length of the clip, but I usually leave it at 0.5 or I'll just do it at nothing and I'll just have it swap in. Let's see what it looks like. There you go. That's what happens. The video looks a little bit slow right now because I'm actually capturing my desktop too at the same time I'm doing it but you get the general idea. And that's how you do it. I wanna thank everybody for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace and aloha.